everybody. Welcome to the Tribulation Institute. My name is Jeff Forster. I'm your host today, which is October 26, 2022, Wednesday. And I'll be talking today about Isaiah 14 because a friend of mine asked me to do a little short video. Well, that's a tall order to do a short video, but I'm going to give it a, a shot. You know, everybody's heard, or at least you should have, you ain't boy, you really are under rock of the great reset that's going on. You know, the the World Economic Forum that was started by, uh, actually, uh, uh, now the King of England and Charles Schwab. Oh, yeah, they've been buddies for a long time. Uh, anyway, I got news for them. There's a greater reset than the great reset. And it's the great reset of the remnant. The man child. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be bigger and better, and it will destroy the other one. Really? Oh, yeah. Let's get into it. We're going to look at several things here. We're going to look at uh, Lucifer, the son of the morning, and we're going to look at the Assyrian. And I'm going to just tell you right off the bat, and we're going to get to that. The Assyrian is Satan. Okay? that was in the Garden of Eden. He was the tallest tree in the garden. Um, and he had a son. The son is Lucifer. So it says Lucifer, son of the morning. The morning star, there's two of them. The morning star, of course, is the sun. That's the big one of which uh, 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 Lucifer was worshipped through Nimrod. Okay, Nimrod being the grandson of Noah. So this is after Noah's flood. But anyway, so we have the son of the morning star, which would be Venus. That's the little star that rises in the east before the sun comes up. So anyway, we're going to get into all that. Just want to uh, let you know that. The other thing is, okay, let's just get into it. Chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel, that's Jacob, and set them, them mean the house of Jacob and the house of Israel, both making up the nation of Israel, not that false nation over in Israel of today. And the strangers shall be joined with them. We're going to find out that these strangers are the ones that are on the ships of Tarshish that come from Spain after a great calamity happens to the United States, which I believe could happen November 4th. We'll get into that later. Anyway, let's get back to this. I forgot where I was. So I'll start again. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. As I've been teaching for over 20 years, there's going to be a second exodus out of the land of Egypt, bondage, slavery, that we who, believers, okay, Israelites, you become part of the commonwealth of Israel if you don't have Israeli blood in you. But anyway, uh, it's not having Israeli blood that makes you saved. Look, the first church, the apostles, they were of Jewish blood. Yahshua was a, was a Jew, okay, from the tribe of Judah. But he says, uh, Paul says, who is, who is an Israelite? but those that, who believe in uh, the faith of Abraham, okay, believers. So we shall be set in our land. Look, the only people that uh, originated in America are the American Indians, okay, that came here, uh, okay, when the, at the Tower of Babel, when he confounded the languages, and all those that speak the same language or languages, they went in different directions, okay. Indians are over here. They're all over their place. So uh, the point being is other than them, that's in America, and uh, um, those in South America, uh, th those are natives. We're from Europe. Look at the color of my skin. I'm Caucasian. The, ca the Caucasus, the mountains between Turkey and uh, Russia, you know, Russians are the same color skin we have. Why? Because Russians are, are Esau. And I believe I'm of the tribe of, of Ephraim, of the ten northern tribes. 
But that doesn't give me any right to go back. Uh, but what? No. But being saved by the blood of Yahshua does. So that's my land over there. If you're saved by him, that's your land. Look, and I, this ain't about race either, because I'm just a shade. Yeah, you know, all shades were part of Israel. Got news for you. Anyway, let's get back to this. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. The people in the ships tell, shall take us and bring us to our place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. It means occupy, take back, barter with them. In the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. That's us. We shall rule over our oppressors. It shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage, slavery, wherein thou wast made to serve. If you don't understand, have not woken up to the fact of the United States of America, we are in bondage. We're in slavery to the dollar, number one. We're in slavery by those of the elite that rule over us, which are the politicians and the president. It says, Thou shalt take up this proverb, a parable, against the king of Babylon. Who was the king of Babylon? Nimrod was the king of Babylon. When, uh, you know, the Tower of Babel, okay, when God came down and compounded their languages, because he said, you know, I need to stop this, because uh, they're trying to build, uh, they're trying to build, they're trying to build a, a, a tower into uh, heaven, my throne. What for? Well, we'll get in that in a minute. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger, he uh, is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee. And the cedars of Lebanon saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us. Next verse. Hell, that be the grave, the pit, Sheol, from beneath is moved for thee, that be um, one of the cedars of Lebanon. Uh, of Lebanon. You know, they rejoice at him. It is coming. It stirreth up the dead. That's a raphim. Those are the spirits of the offspring between fallen angels and mankind that were killed in the flood. Their bodies are dead. But their spirits, they're called the dead. They're down in the pit. And you remember in chapter of Revelation over there, I think it's down the fifth seal. I mean the fifth trumpet down there. Uh, the bottomless pit is opened. Uh, some nasty stuff coming out. Anyway. And these ones that are down there. It says that it hath raised up from their thrones. All the kings of the nations are down there. Why? It's because those the giants were the kings of the nations. Back then. Of which. Uh, what? Before the flood. The kings of the nations that Lucifer ruled over. Okay. Son of the morning. All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pop is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials. The worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How thou, how art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nation? For thou hast said, now he's a key part of this. Why? Because most of you think that, oh, see, that's Satan. He was thrown out of heaven. He says he's fallen from heaven. Okay. But there's a, a we'll see that he didn't, he didn't start up there in heaven. Satan was kicked out of the third heaven. Lucifer's never been there. We'll see this in this next verse. Verse 14. 
For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. The stars of God, meaning the angels of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, Sheol, to the sides of the pit. Different word here means prison, dungeon. So we see that the Lucifer tried to ascend up into heaven, but he was thrown down. Back to the earth. Okay. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake the kingdoms? So there were a lot of giants ruling over those, over those kingdoms, but Lucifer was the top one. That made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of his prisoners. All the kings of the nation, even all of them, lie in glory, every one in his own house. Talking about, you're talking about the man kings, you're talking about the offspring between angels and mankind, the Nephilim, Raphaim. The dead, they're in the pit, in the earth. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and as the raiment of those that are slain thrust through with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit as a carcass trodden underfoot. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evil doers shall never be renowned. See, they're the seed of the evil doers and they're not going to be brought back to, pro uh, back to promise. Look, In that spirit of Lucifer, yeah, he's not bound up there. He inhabited, he was the spirit that inhabited Nimrod. It says Nimrod became a mighty hunter. That's a mighty hunter of men. Okay. He became one. Well, because Lucifer, the spirit of Lucifer that was the body was killed in the flood. The spirit is possessed, possessing Nimrod. And in the last day, it's the great reset that they're trying to bring about, okay, bring back Babylon, the Tower of Babylon. We're going to bring every, look, and it's through the internet that we can, you know, uh, you can look at comments and you say, well, that's in Japanese. You push a button to translate it already. Look, so, the world has come back of one language through the internet. And we're at that point in time of the building of the Tower of Babel, which basically is immortality. That's what's in heaven. So they're, they're trying to build another tower, okay, of immortality, so they can go up actually to the throne room of God and think that they can destroy him. It's pretty stupid, it well, but that's that's what's going on. But this great, great global reset in this United Nations, one nations of peoples they're going to build, okay? The greater remnant, the greater reset of the remnant that will be birthed, the man child, okay? You're going to crush it. You're going to end that global reset. In verse 25, verse 24, The Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. As I have purposed, so shall it stand, that I will break the Assyrian. That's the devil. And that's the morning star. In my land and upon my mountains tread him underfoot. Then shall his yoke depart from off them and his burden depart from off their shoulders. This is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth. And this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations. If you want some further information, just click on the description box 
and go to the site that talks about this a whole lot more in depth than I do. But anyway, I think that the United States is fixing to get nuked. Well, I know that Babylon is going to fall in Babylon, that the dollar of Babylon is the United States of America. And it's, it's already fallen from uh, the strength that it once had around the world. And that has to be for the great global reset to begin. The United States has to fall. The nation states have to fall, become one nation under the United Nations. And uh, that's taking place as we see it. But the United States has not fallen. Babylon has fallen, has fallen. That's down here in the, uh, uh, underneath the second seal, down at the bottom of the chapter 14 of the book of Revelations. Click and take a look at the chart. Anyway, I love you. Click on the notification button. If you subscribe, if you're not subscribed, then do it. And give us a like. And most of all, if you think this is worth anything, you think I'm telling the truth, first take it to prayer. Take it to the Father in heaven. And His Spirit will teach you whether or not I'm telling you the truth or not. Have a great day. I love you. Stay strong.